Hey y'all, it is um, almost the end of January and I figured I'd come out and um, do some pruning on my espalier fruit trees. And I have chickens running back and forth because they hear me talking. Y'all can look at this. Okay. <laughs> they can't figure out which door I'm gonna go to. <laughs> They follow me no matter what door I go to. <laughs> okay, so if I want to do this, I'm going to have to throw them out some food. Well, I probably don't have any out here. Yeah, I do. And then distract them while I go work on the trees. All right, they've been fed. And it's starting to rain, so I picked a not-so-perfect time to do this, but... Let's take a look at these trees. I did put my little cutters here in a cup of rubbing alcohol. And this, you can see, it has all kinds of water sprouts. So I really need to get this trimmed up good. I don't want my chickens getting into this. So let's hide it over here. They're nice and clean. So the thing that I'm looking for is to train these trees to stay short in height, but I don't want these big tall limbs. So see this right here? This right here is a um, fruit spur. So I'm gonna cut right just above that, like that. And try to encourage this tree to fruit short on these short structures right here's a fruit spur and right there's a fruit spur from where i cut it last year so don't see any on this this is just a growing leafy green shoot so i'm going to cut it right there because i want this to fruit um See the same thing with here. You can see all those little buds forming alongside that. That's all just leaf material. I don't want that. I want fruit spurs like right here. And there's fruit spurs here on this one. There's all kinds actually through there. But I want it, see where I cut it last year? I'm gonna cut it again right there, just above those fruit spurs. You can see where I cut it last year. I'm gonna do it again because I wanna keep it short and fruiting. I don't see any on this, so we're gonna cut it off. There we go, just like that. Don't see any on this big tall one. So what I am gonna do though, is maybe try to cut it short. I'm gonna cut it just above that bud. There's a bud right there, leafy structure. I'm going to see if I can try to promote fruit spurs to form on this. And I'll just have to keep trimming this off next year. Um, right here's a fruit spur. I don't see any on this tree limb, so we're going to cut that off. There's actually, there might be one right there too, so. I know it looks like a lot, but we want spurs. Um, this they're crisscrossing, so I don't see any on this big one right here. There's a spur right there. Uh, I'm gonna cut it right there. This one has a spur here and a spur here. I don't see any on these side branches, so I'm gonna cut above this fruit spur right here. go hi baby you better go over and eat and there's a dead branch right there so I do want this to be a side shoot um I might come back to that right here you have more fruit spurs none coming up from this but leafy green so we're going to cut it right where I did last year same with this one I do see spurs right through here 
and the, I want them spurs to get bigger and bigger every year so we have this big tall limb here with a spur actually right there so we're gonna cut it just like that this one has all kinds of spurring um we're gonna cut this one right there and this one's damaged so we're gonna cut that off i might try to encourage this one see how that's got spurs all up and down it i might end up even like pulling this one down so it will be even longer and maybe hopefully get some spurs forming right here hi lucy lucy's coming to say hi the same with this but this right here looks like fruit spur um i'm gonna leave this one alone let's cut this one like that maybe we'll get spurs i don't know we'll keep trimming look here they all came to the party uh, there's a fruit spur at the tip of that but it's kind of long i gotta make a decision you know what let's cut it halfway let's just see what happens um i see a fruit spur here long growth here let's just cut it cut it right up above some uh leafy structures we'll see what happens this one i'm just going to cut it see what happens this actually i do see spurs right here there's a spur and there's another one right there so let's just cut this off right here that's what we we want it to do fruiting and these are going to crisscross right here so let's cut this one off too there you go this one is not doing anything but long growth let's just cut it maybe there actually well there's a spur right here on the outer so that might promote a limb to grow out this way we'll see what happens this year i want to keep trimming these up this summer you'll see a fruit spur here and here and by cutting these limbs i'm telling the tree don't grow any further put your put your um, energy into making these spurs bigger so we'll get more and more fruit off of them <clears throat> this one is a really long growth let's just cut it right there see if it maybe tells the tree to do something here if not we'll cut it off later in the summer um same with this long stem it's not doing anything you know what i'm gonna cut it right here because it might the tree might tell it to start producing spurs so we'll see what happens here's another big long one um i don't see any spurs on it but we will cut it again part way like that big tall one right here we got a spur right there let's cut just above it this one ain't doing anything we'll cut it short you just want to cut them short right here you'll see a spur there there's several spurs right through there so I'm gonna cut well right there's one we'll cut right here let's keep it short this we'll keep that short let's go right here got a big long one right here we have some spurs right here we're gonna cut just above them where I cut last year and you see how I cut that it's right by the next spur because if that was not a spur and it was a leafy like um let's see let's find a leaf one like right here these leaf ones see how they're almost flat up against the limb if the next one down was a leaf one it would tell the tree to produce another limb but instead I want it to tell the the limb to produce another a longer fruit spur <clears throat> Okay, that's the whole concept. Here's the before. Now we're gonna do some more trimming and then we'll show the after. This one has 
fruit spur, fruit spur right through here. So I'm gonna cut it again right there. And that will promote this one and these to um, fruit. Right here's a fruit spur. Cut just above it. Right there looks like one. Uh, I don't know. We'll cut just above it and see what happens with that one. Here's a fruit spur right there. We're going to cut just above it. As you can see, the tree's already looking much more uniform. We'll keep going. Okay, one thing I did want to point out is I have a really long stem here. So what I can do with this this year is train this stem down like this and then hopefully it will get some limbs and spurring to come up from this limb you can even see some fruit spurs right there so i think that's what i'm going to do with this one so i'll have to come back later when i got some more string and tie that down and um i may even tip this just above these spurs right here but i will train this one down too all right, this is the after. So I do have a couple longer limbs there that I am going to train long ways like these. And um, just keep trimming this throughout the summer. So now I've got to do all of these other ones. So I've got the apple trees espillard as best as I can. Espalier, I mean, as best as I can for now. Um, now I'm going to do the peach tree, which is going to be a little bit different. I'm trying to create a vase shape in the middle, so we're going to have to thin it out in the middle. And we'll be right back. This is the peach tree so far. I cut all the limbs that was going inward to open at the center and create more of a vase shape. So it's starting to pick up raining. i got to quit for now. I'll come back and finish the rest at a later time. All right, it's the next day and I'm ready to start working on these peach trees. The goal of the peach tree pruning is to open up the center of this peach tree and any dead limbs or any little limbs going inward toward the, the inner vase that I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna get rid of. Um, anything, let's see, probably like brown that's going straight up, I'm not gonna keep because you want the red looking limbs like this that is what has the um <clears throat> the fruiting wood peaches go, grow off of first uh, um a wood that is a year old i cannot speak today i'm so cold out here <clears throat> but we're also going to take those red limbs when we're done and trim those down to between 18 and 24 inches because you don't want those too long if they're loaded with peaches they're just going to break so we want them short you know i don't want no more than maybe um five or six peaches per limb if I'm lucky this year, we'll see. I didn't get anything last year. So hopefully this is the year. We'll see. But let's get started pruning. So this one right here is coming inward. I'm going to get rid of it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cut this down to, to 18 inches. And after it fruits this year, then I'll get rid of it. So that's that's the plan for this. Maybe I can cut it back after it fruits um, at the end of the year. So we'll go ahead and cut that short. Mm. Like that. And this one right here is growing inward. I don't want that. So is this one. These I'm going to let peach out this year, these little ones, and then I'm going to cut those off if they fruit, after they fruit. Oh, it hurts me to have to cut these. It does. Let's start trimming these down. Partial. And I don't want it too tall. I want to keep it a short height so I can reach, get things off of it. This is really vasing out right here. We're going to keep that for now. 
but we're going to trim it like that and like that because I don't want it weighed down. This is a really long limb, kind of low in the ground. So if it does peach out, I don't want it weighing to the ground. Yeah. And if I'm going to cut these, um, I want to cut them where there's a bud just above a bud that's growing out. That way, if it does do a limb, it's going to limb out further, more of like a vase. So, I'm going to cut that. Oh, come on. I cut this big one right here and I probably need to go get thicker. So I got it. This one don't want. This one's going in, we want it to go out. I don't know if I want to keep that one. I'm going to get bigger loppers and cut that one off and trim these down. This one's facing out, so we want it to face out more. Hurts me, hurts me, hurts me. You don't want anything coming out this way that's skinny. That's dead. Just gonna have to do it and not think about it. And we don't want that. See right here, I cut that. There's a bud that I want to come out and base out even further. This one, same thing. Uh, this one's coming in, we don't want that. Same here. I'm going to minimize my limbs. These are coming straight up. We don't want those there. I'm gonna get loppers and cut this one out. I think I wanna 
open that up even more. I'll be right back. I want to open it up even more. Sometimes it's best to just not overthink it and just do it. Because if you overthink it, you're going to talk yourself out of uh oh, do it the proper, proper way. Oh, come on. I just scratched the tree though. That's not good. That's not good. Don't do like me. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, There you go. You want the airflow in, the sunlight in to ripen those fruits. Okay, here she is. You can see I completely opened up the center and trimmed those longer limbs down to about one and a half to two feet. I cut any of the um, limbs here that was going in and crisscrossing. I wanted to completely open that, open that vase up. And after it fruits this year, I can come in and do some more opening up. I think probably next year, when this limb's a little bigger, I can cut this and maybe this part off to open it up even more and let these lower limbs kind of take over. Because once again, the growth's gonna be on the one-year-old wood, not anything older than that. So right now I'm just shaping it into the vase. Yeah, definitely need to cut this off. Um, oh, should I do it or should I not? We'll do that next. Well, I don't know. Let's do it. Better just go ahead and do it and get it shaped good because these trees do grow fast. So let's do what we need to do. You kind of have to think of this as like a piece of art. Uh, let's do it. Let's go from this side. See, I want this to be open even more. If I cut this out, I feel like it will give more energy to the slim to keep growing out. So we're gonna do it. Here we go. That opened it up. Next year, if this limb right here strengthens, I might even cut this off and like all this and let this little limb kind of keep growing out to, I want it low to the ground and wide so I can reach my fruits. And also like, um, if it has a late spring frost and it's already bloomed and they're already turning, starting to turn into fruits, I want to be able to throw a sheet over this easily too, so that will help if it's lower to the ground and wider, and just come out here and throw a sheet over it easily. But yeah, it looks much better, I think. All right, look at these little dogs. I straighten this up, and the dogs and the chickens just tear it all up, and I have to straighten it up again. <laughs> okay, there she is. The vase structure continues. I'm very pleased with how it looks. Let's go to the next tree. The next peach tree is this one. It's got pretty good size. We're ready to open it up. Let's face it. This one, uh, I'm just gonna start in the center and work my way up. Let's get my cap, buddy. So a fresh recrap, recrap. <laughs> A fresh recap on what I'm doing here is just cutting out that center, 
opening up that vase, anything long or pointing in, any dead looking branches. I'm just cleaning it completely out. I am concerned this one got really tall last year, so I have to cut a lot off of this one more than I felt comfortable with, but um, you know, it'll, it'll grow out more limbs this year and I can shape it better at the end of this year, maybe trim little limbs here and there throughout the summer to try to help shape it and then give it a nice hard um, prune next winter. But that's what this is. And then I'll trim down the leftover red fruiting limbs down to about a foot and a half to two foot. So that's what this process is right here. Okay, this last little section I just did not like at all because it did have a lot of branching out there at the top. Um, I, I need to get that shorter for next year, so I definitely will be cutting that back after this year uh, to hopefully let one of the branches shorter along that limb to maybe take over and grow out. It's just too tall for my liking. I don't want to be climbing a ladder to get fruit, so that will that big top section right there that I'm at will get cut out probably next winter. Okay, that tree is done. It's opened up. And I'll just keep every year. Um, I might shorten it down a little bit more next year and widen it a little bit more if there's more limbs growing here toward the bottom. But it vased out pretty good. Maybe this one right here might be a third limb vasing out too this year. We'll, we'll see. But let's get the last one. This is the last one. This one did take a beating on the side here um, when I was having the house built on too. They ran into this and kind of done a little bit of damage, but hopefully it will hold out. Um, for this one, we'll start with cleaning out the center. Anything going in, just open that up right here. That one's going in. And I'm probably going to need my loppers for this. Yep. We'll come back to that one. This one right here, that one's going in. This one's straight up. We don't want that. We want them leaning out like this. This is a good length we'll keep. This one's kind of long, so we're going to promote it to go out even further. I'm going to go above. Let's see, we want a foot and a half. We're going to go about right here and cut it just above that little mode. And then the same for this, these limbs that are going in, we don't want. Cut that one off. Oh. And this one off. Well, let's cut this halfway because I want it to fruit this year. This one is straight up. Here we go again, just opening up the vase in the middle of this tree and cutting anything out that's pointing to, to the center of it. Uh, any limbs that's in the center getting in the way, we want those out. Trimming down the red fruiting limbs to about a foot and a half to two foot. And um, trying to encourage those limbs when I do trim those to the cut to be just above a bud that's facing out. So it will promote limbs growing out, thus uh, making the vase wider and more lower to the ground for me to be able to reach and cover with late frost or pick fruit. Okay, so we opened it up. You can see right there the vase, trim things down. Might even come in and trim these down a little bit more. Um, yeah, let's do that. So I'm going to try to see if it will fruit any on this, but for the meantime, we can do, and we'll do it right here. See that little node right there? I'm going to cut just above that to hopefully tell it to shoot a limb going out. Same with this one. There we go. And I left this one, the one that's already out there. Let's tip it above a node. All right. 
now I feel better about it. So that opened it up pretty good. And some of these little ones I kept in the middle on my, um, like right here, cut them out next year. I just want to see if they'll fruit this year. But there we go. That's the pruning of the peach trees. These have been in, this is their third year, I believe. Or starting their third year. All right, y'all, that concludes the uh, pruning of the apple and the peach trees. And the next video, I'll probably start on these rose bushes next. So I might wait till, right now it's the end of January, so I might wait till mid-February before I start tackling those. But thanks for watching. Bye.